I was seven years old when I got my first pair And I stepped outside and I was like, Mama, this air bubble right here It's gonna make me fly What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Ty from the Sky And I'm coming back with another banger for y'all all right, today I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all something that y'all been waiting for. I'm gonna show y'all my shoe collection. You know, I think I got the best shoe collection as a 17 year old in Kansas. No, no, there's no debate. I got the best collection. But yeah, thank you for the support. I've been getting on the channel and we're almost have 50 subscribers. We're 18 away. Let's keep going. I'm going to keep grinding. I hope y'all just share the video with y'all friends and stuff. And yeah, let's get straight to the shoes. Alright, first off, you know, we're going to start off with some light, some light, you know. I'm about to, about to let y'all, you know, start off with some Jordans. Alright, so here we got the ones. I don't know what these are called, but I mean, I like the style. They went with one of my outfits. So I was like, hey, might as well cop. <clears throat> Next, we got these 12s. And these are... These are probably like top five favorite Jordan because these things are comfortable. They simple. They got a nice color to it. You see at the bottom, they got this little this snake skin stuff. That Dubai desert snake skin. Yeah, that stuff. It got the traction. Like it's just an overall, it's a 10 out of 10 shoe. And uh I got the Emerald 11 Lows. This shoe is just fire. Like it be changing colors in the sun, like see the bottom it's not even icy like it's like i don't know what that is it's like reflective like i don't even know it's like holographic but yeah it's it's a cool shoe also got some more 11s i got these uh these unc 11 lows and like this shoe this shoe just it's the shoe the shoe is amazing you know you you see it you like hey that's that's some heat all right, what else I got for y'all? You know, I got this is this is some real heat right here. I got the Carmine Sixes. They a little they a little dirty because I had them for like three years, but yeah, really really good shoe, really good shoe. <clears throat> Next, I'm about to show y'all the most overhyped shoe I got. Like, I don't even know why I got these shoes. Like, ever I got them thinking that they're gonna be nice, and then when I went to school everybody had them and i'm like that's tough but yeah here's the pure money fours i keep mine i don't really wear mine a lot that's why they kind of look really clean because like, i know some people who wear them like every day and like they be looking just beat up and banged up but mine are still like pretty new pretty good condition so yeah i like my shoes in great condition all right uh next for you i got the lanny wants the Lanny, no, no, not the Lanny ones. What am I doing? The Lanny fives. The Lanny fives, my guy. If you, if you a real sneakerhead, you gotta have some Lanny fives. These are, these are probably one of my favorite Jordans. I mean, these, cause like, I've only been collecting shoes since seventh grade, so about six years, and no, not six years. Twelve. Yeah, yeah, wait. Hey, I'm I'm lost right now. Yeah, about five no five years, about five years. Yeah, but I've only been collecting for about five years. This is my third retro I ever had, and yeah, these have really good value. They mean a lot to me. So yeah, Lanny fives. Another shoe dash I never copped. These are the alternate sixes. These are just all out. Just I don't. Literally, you could walk. You could walk around, like in the clean. And you could walk around in an empty, like sidewalk or anything, for like two seconds. You look down, and that you gonna have a mark on your shoe. Like I don't, I don't know what the like, what's the problem with these shoes, but like they get dirty so easily. Like you could do, you could literally be sitting down, and like they'll just get dirty. Yeah, but any y'all want these as a subscriber? They might be part of the 50 subscriber giveaway. The alternate sixes. Only wear them once. Alright, next I got the cement fours. The OGs. You know. Nike Air on the back. 
You don't be doing none of that fake stuff. Uh, yeah, these are one of my favorite shoes too. And yeah, that's all. All right, I'm about to get to my favorite. Focus, focus camera, focus, focus my guy, focus. You gonna focus on me? So you're just not gonna focus on me now, okay? You're not gonna focus on me? All right, yeah. But these are my favorite ones. Dang, is it not focused, bro? All right, look, focus at me. All right, so these are my favorite ones. We got the, I don't know what these are, but I know they're all white. They might be a little dirty because like I had them for a long time. They were my first fit when I was a freshman. I wore these first day of school, you know, I was looking clean. You know, I had to, had to, had to uh, show out first day of high school. But yeah, these are the my favorite ones. All right, next I got a really, a really good banger for y'all. These are along with these are probably my these are my second pair of retros I got, and yeah, these mean a lot. Like these are on um, pure with like the the Lannies. All right, I got the fire red fives. Who do you know got the fire red fives in their collection right now? I mean, yeah, they kind of beat up, but I mean, I've, I've had them since like seventh grade. But here's like here's a backstory on these. All right, so the first day I got them, right, I wore them to school. Or well, like the day I, the day like, I, well, I got them and then I wore them to school. The first day I wore them, like we were playing, we were playing football at lunch, and we used to play on like this little like street, like slash parking lot with like some basketball goals. We used to play in this like empty like spot, and uh, I caught the ball, and then I had like juke this kid, and then like my foot like went like like this on the ground and then I had like scuffed the whole front of my shoe and there was this big old mark and then bro, like I'm telling you I ain't never got home and pulled out the shoe cleaner so fast like I was scrubbing I was scrubbing the leather off the shoe like but I got it to go away so I wasn't really tripping in the end I was like I was kind of that really did ruin my whole day though because like you know I don't, I don't like my shoes getting messed up but yeah, that's a backstory on the Fire Red Fives. And let's get to the next pair. Alright, next we got the Win Like 96s, 11s. These are, this is like one of my favorite shoes. Because this thing is just, like look at the shoe. Like, whoever designed this, like, you need a, you need a, a, a <laughs> you need a master's degree designing this. Like, this shoe is amazing. And, um... I got the tr triple 3P8s, yeah, 3P8s. I don't really like mess with eights too much because like it's a fat shoe, and like I'm a skinny dude, and like a fat shoe on a skinny dude, it just don't look right. I also got these Cherry 13s. This is just like a. I don't really wear these much. I only wore them like twice, but like this shoe, it's a nice looking shoe. Like. Smell good? Hey, smell that. Y'all smell it? It smell good, don't it? Yeah, it's that new shoe smell. Also got the True Blues, the OGs, Nike Air on the back, none of the fake stuff. But yeah, if you if you don't got a pair of True Blues in your sneaker collection, are you really a sneakerhead? You know. I also got these gray toe 13s, you know, because the toe's gray. That's why they call it gray toe, gray toe 13s. You know, still got the plastic over the wrap. If you take your plastic off of your 13s, you're one of those. But yeah, they still they smell pretty good, pretty good condition. Well, like pretty good, yeah, like really good condition. You know, got a, got a little crease, but you know that's just shoes in general. All right, what else we got? We got we got some heat right here. We got some Baron Nines, and the thing I, I don't really like. Like, these are one of my favorite shoes, but I don't like wearing them because, like, they got the 45 on the back. And everybody's like, oh, those are fake. They got 45. Like, my guy, Michael Jordan, wore 45, too. Like, people so dumb. Like, if you're going to try to roast me, know your history. Simple. But these are the Baron Nines. One of the greatest, like, looking shoes I probably ever saw Jordan make. Yes. Yeah. All right, we got these threes. I know they they are OG, but 
I can't even think of the name right now. And they got the Nike Air on the back. Again, we don't do the fake stuff. Yeah, but I only wore these once. So, like, they're in, like, pretty much perfect condition. You know, got that new shoe smell. Like, that. That. that but you know when you got they got that smell? Like, it's something about the shoes. All right, I got these Bread 13s. You know, still got the little tag over the over the little whatever that thing is. But yeah, I only wore these about twice. I got these. I got these on sale too. Like, I'm not gonna tell y'all where I got them from, cause can't be releasing my secrets. But I got these on sale. I didn't even get them when they released. Like they were just sitting on the shelves. And yeah, I just I had the cop. Also got these opening ceremony 11s. If you wear these in school, bro. You will get so many compliments. Like people be thinking this is like the greatest shoe ever. Like I know it's it's a it's a nice design, but like it's 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 mediocre to me. Like it's really not all that how people be thinking it is. Because like they be thinking it's so much money, but this is this shoe's only like 175 for like retail. So yeah. Also got these low top nines. I just copped these at like I'm going to tell you, I caught them at a Nike outlet. And yeah, I was like, hey, it's a cool color. I wouldn't wear them with shorts or nothing. I'd wear them with some pants because if you look if you look at this shoe with some shorts, you want to think it's ugly. Like, simple. It's ugly. But with some pants and it look like it's high top, this shoe is a pretty dope shoe. Also got the Black Cat 13s. This is a really cool shoe because, like, when you take when you take a picture with the flash on, it like it's, like, reflective. It's crazy, like the size. It'll look like look like a hologram or something. Like you know, you got the black cat on the inside. I don't know if y'all can see that. You see that? Oh, you, uh, you can see that right there. Yeah, we got the black cat on the inside. Get that out of here. We also got what are these? Uh, hey, what what is these called? Like um, uh, I don't even know what these are called anymore. Wait, I just had it in my mind what they were called, but I don't know. What are they? Something, something game. Yeah, but it's a pretty cool shoe. If the shoelaces were white, it'd probably be cooler, but I mean, hey, it's it's a cool shoe. I got the He Got Games. You know, I had to wear them with the merch. You know, get if you haven't seen my video, go watch it. Get your merch. You know, tie from the sky, clouds, you know, new wave. But yeah. We got we got the he got games, you know, like the movie, you know, Euro between the lane, three pointer, wet like water. You already know. <laughs> yeah, but keep the plastic on there. You know, we can't be one of those. But yeah, I'm not gonna throw these. I'm I'm gonna lay them down gently. These are probably my the worst shoe I've ever got. Like, I don't know why I got these. I thought they were cool, and then I got them and they were just they were an L. Yeah, these, what are these, pre-grade fives? They're trash. I might give these away with the 50 subscriber giveaway too. But yeah, size 12. I also got these Columbia 4s. I got these for my birthday. They're a little dirty, but you can't see it because the, cause the camera. And they really dirty. Well, I need to clean these. But uh, yeah, these are just a really good shoe. One of my favorites. I like the color. You know, it was a birthday gift to me. And, hey, it's a tough shoe. All right, here I got the, uh, we just going to call these the Suwoo. Suwoo 5s. All right, so the Suwoo 5s, um, no gang affiliating or nothing. You know, we don't do that. Just all entertainment. But the Suwoo 5s, uh, yeah, I like the shoe, but I don't wear it. Like, I, I don't think I've ever wore the shoe because, like, Who's really, you can't wear nothing with this, like, you just can't. I thought it would look more, I thought it was the Raging Bull Fives at first, but it really wasn't. It was its own colorway, and that was kind of disappointing, but, hey, still had to cop. Also got these ones right here, like, I don't even know what these are, but, bro, they got the little orange spots on them. I don't know if y'all can see that. They, they look like the Royals, too, like, bro, these things is icy. These are probably one of the iciest ones I've ever seen. Like, if you saw these on the street from a far distance, you'd be like, oh, he got the Royals on? But nah, bro, I don't got them on, but I got some that look like them. 
But yeah, these are these are a dope shoe. And if you see them in the in the store, you got a cop, my guy. Also got these Cyber Monday, Black Friday, yeah, Cyber Monday uh, threes. I don't even wear them because they they just look, they just look plain like they look like some Vans or something. Like I don't know, it's a it's a cool shoe, but like it's one of those shoes that you just don't wear. You just leave in your closet because you just don't want to wear it. All right, gotta get some more shoes. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> All right, this Jordan right here. I, I don't wear anymore. I might give this away too because this Jordan shoe is just absolute trash and I don't know why anybody ever made it. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yeah, but these are the French Blue 7s and if you like me, like the 7s, I just don't like wearing them because it's just a fat shoe. Like, you put it on it just make your shoe look fat. Like, it make you look like you're wearing like 9 socks. Like, it's just... I don't know. It's, it's not the wave. Next, hmm. these shoes too. These royal royalty fours. Yeah, these are these aren't the wave either. Like they were cool. They were cool on the picture until you see them in real life and you figure out everything is suede. Like it's just if it was like a leather, like it would be so much cooler. But the suede really be throwing it off. So yeah. Don't cop you them royalty fours. Get them out of here. All right, next I got the gammas. If you don't got no gammas, then gam me your shoe collect. Nah, I'm joking. If you ain't got no gammas, then your shoe collection is whack. But yeah, these are like one of the greatest Jordans you ever put out there. It's just a it's a cool shoe. You can really go with a lot of things. And yeah, get you some gammas. Next I got the Chrome Eights. These are easy. These were an easy cop. I mean, nobody really wanted them. I can see why, because I mean, they're eights, not an OG colorway, eh, but they're a pretty cool shoe. I wore them like, I wore them a couple times. All right, I think that's done with Jordans. I think we're done with Jordans, so I'm going to get into like my, more of my like basketball shoe collection, basketball hype B shoe collection, you know. So, we'll be back in a minute. All right, so some shoes that I usually hoop in, I usually hoop in these D-Wades, yeah, they like, they're really messed up, but the D-Wades, uh, what are they, City Flags? Yeah, City Flags or something like that, but, you know, D-Wade, the GOAT, greater than, greatest basketball player to ever live. Last season, about to drop 80 a game, but yeah, this is the D-Wade shoes, they're a dope shoe. If you go in, if you go on the website, they're usually all sold out, but they're pretty cheap shoe. They only like, they only run for like $70, so get you some D-Wades. Also got these uh, Christmas LeBron 13s. Yeah, I think they're 13s. This shoe is literally a brick. Like you could literally do dumbbell curls and look like Dwayne Johnson in three months if you use these shoes alone. But yeah, I hooped in them and you get you get no vertical in these shoes. These shoes are like 55 pounds. And next, I'm gonna get to like I'm gonna show y'all some real heat next, like. Like some Balenciaga type heat, you know, some four hundred dollars on a foot type heat. But yeah, next we got these uh these uh Felas. I don't know what they are, but y'all can't tell me this shoe ain't dope. You know, got the got the running. If if y'all say this shoe is trash, if it had Balenciaga or Gucci on the side, I bet you you'd wear it. So that's all I gotta say. No comment. But yeah, the Felas, the feel away. You know I had to get the Air Force Ones. These are probably like, yeah, I only own two Air Force Ones. These one of them, you know, just a just an OG colorway. You know, simple. Got the little air right there, little lanyard thing. And yeah, I got my other one. I'm gonna call these the Crip Ones because I mean they're blue. Again, no gang affiliated. All entertainment. But yeah, we got these uh these Crip Air Force Ones. I don't wear them at all because I don't know. They could get out of here too. All right, on to my hype beast stuff. I got these uh these Nikes. I think they're like fly knit roast runs, but this colorway is just icy, man. Like you see somebody with these on, you're like, ooh, these is fire. Like these is these are just like, oh my gosh, these are fire, bro. They got these little like Krabby Patty things. I don't know what they called, but 
it looked like some Krabby Patties. And yeah. This is probably my favorite shoe in my collection. The Triple White Ultra Boost are probably my favorite shoe. When I get my money up for on this YouTube stuff, if I ever do, I'm copying me every single pair of Ultra Boost on the planet. I'm going to have every single colorway. I'm going to have like 30 pairs of Triple Whites. Because this shoe is just... If you don't got a pair of Ultra Boost, man, like... Just, oh my... Shoe about to bring tears to my eyes, like... When you put your foot in this, it feels like you're stepping on a cloud. Like, I don't even know what that feels like, but I'm, I'm guessing it would feel good. But this shoe feels like you're stepping on a cloud. So I would 10 out of 10 recommend you get some Ultra Boost. The triple white color goes with anything, but you'll you also get the black. And yeah, all the colorways they have are just, are icy. Alright, next I got, I got the OG foam posits. You know, the only shoes that you don't hoop in, you don't hoop in foam posits. Because if you hoop in foam posits, you're most likely going to lose your ankles. Because the shoe is literally, the shoe is literally like a brick. Like, you can't move in this shoe. But yeah, these are one of the only phone posits I got. The next one, I got the Wu-Tang phone posits. I bet you ain't never seen these before. I could guarantee you ain't never seen these before. These are probably my, one of my favorite shoes, but I can't wear them. Because this yellow is so rare. Like, you can't ever find a shirt in this yellow. And I don't really like, I don't know, just wearing like, like I'd be trying to find a shirt that's yellow and black. But it's just impossible. Like, you gotta like make your own stuff but also got my prized possession it's my uh you know 350 easy boost you know some light yeah uh, I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it right here flight club the price of, of it on flight club and this is how much I paid for it so I dropped a couple racks on the easy boost but it's it's some like also got these Kyrie fours they are right. Not a really great shoe to hoop in. Also got these LeBron lows. I forgot which LeBrons they were, but it looked pretty cool to me, so I had the cop. Simple. All right, another shoe I plan on buying a lot in the future is the Adidas NMD. This is just like it's a really comfortable shoe too. I like the style of it. It's just it's overall it's an excellent shoe. All right. I was I was debating putting this in the video because like the dude the dude shoes that I'm about to show we don't speak on him anymore. Uh, well, I you know I'm just going I'm just going to show them to y'all. I'm about to show y'all BB head shoes. Here are the uh, the BB head sixes. You know the colorway I think is Brazilian, Brazilian yeah the Brazilian colorway. And then we got the uh, Don't Brush His Hair BB Head Longhorn 7s. This is like, this is probably one of my rare shoes I have. Like, I've never seen anybody else with this shoe. And yeah, obviously there was a lot of shoes that I couldn't, that I didn't want to show y'all because, I mean, I don't really want to show y'all like no Vans or Polo Sperry shoes or no like church shoes or anything like that. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the heat I had. Comment below in the comments what your favorite shoe is, and if you think my collection was the greatest. Obviously it was, but <laughs> nah, but thank you guys for, if you made it this far, thank you. I know this is a long video, but I just want to get you, show y'all my heat, you know, show y'all what I'm working with, and yeah, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, join the Sky Rise, because you know we're going to make it to the top the top and yeah i'm tired from the sky man and i'm out Peace. america it begins Come on.